Welcome back, ladies and germs, to another deck profile. This time it's standard, and it's going to be a Soul Saver Force 2 focused deck because Heroic Evolution came out and we got Gift 2. So, um, because Gift 2 exists, I feel like Soul Saver uh, is really good now because you already got the numbers, you just need the crits, and then you just win games because crits win games. So, I'm going to show you my uh, Soul Saver Royal Paladin deck post. Heroic Evolution. So the starter is Glimy Boy because can't run any other starters on so on ride draw card. And now we're gonna go into the grade threes. So it is a Soul Saver deck, but I'm only running three copies of Soul Saver Dragon. Uh, the reason why is because um, you can wait till you see it in the late game. And Soul Saver Dragons in the past were, I mean, Soul Saver Dragon focused decks kind of in the past were good at around three. You can run four. Um, you'll, you'll see on my list, you can kind of get an idea of what you can bump up and down for another Soul Saver, but I feel comfortable with three, um, because you want to see other stuff first. So, oh, maybe I should explain what it does. Maybe. So, auto, auto, when it attacks you, Soul Charge, and then Act, Soul Blast 5, six your units gain 15k. That's really good, because if you already have Force 2, you're getting plus 30 to your columns with all those base crits. So you get even more crits in the drive checks and you can win games really easily and quickly. Um, so since you have to Soul Blast 5, we're going to give cards that get power from Soul Blasting said 5 a lot of bonuses, like a Force 2 marker. So when this is placed, you Soul Charge, so that ramps up uh, Soul. And Palamedes' other skill is when a card is put into your drop zone from your Soul, it gets 5k, so it even says right there in parentheses, plus 25, you soul blast 5. They're kind of, it's like they're hinting, like, these go together. So, uh, three copies of Palamedes. You can bump this down to two and run a, a fourth soul saver. But I really do like Palamedes' skill, so that's why I upped it to three. Soul saver, you can kind of wait around for it. Uh, so, you know, Palamedes is really good. What I like to do is I like to give the column that Palamedes isn't on. I like to leave his without the gift to and give the other column the gift to so that when that column swings for way less power, it still has the crit, so your opponent is kind of pressured to guard it. And then during your drive checks, if you get a crit trigger, you just put the crit on Palamedes so that way your columns are guaranteeing crits. But the big column, uh, your opponent will want to PG it anyway, so make it easier, make it harder for your opponent by, like, making the big number and the one with the crit, like, different. So that, like, that way they have different forms of pressure, something like that. Standard doesn't have too much thinking involved, but there's a little bit of that. And four copies of Alfred. This is basically your ride target. So this is where it gets really fun, because Alfred gets 10k when you have Blaster Blades. So you have a, you have a 23k Vanguard with two crit swinging at them. In the early game. So the minute you ride the grade 3, you're swinging at this 23k 2 crit, and they're like, oh, that's a lot. Maybe I want to PG that, or maybe I should take it since I'm only at 2 damage, you know? So there is some early game pressure because of Force 2 with uh, Alfred, and Soul Saver doesn't have any counter blasts, so you can basically devote all your counter blasts to Alfred's skill, and, you know, it's just pretty good pressure in deck thinning because, you know, start pulling out non triggers in your deck helps you see triggers sooner. So yeah, this is your right target, Soul Save is your finisher, so that's why it's at 3, and Palamedes is there to kind of up the power when you're doing your Soul Saver turn and give you more soul. Next up is four copies of Blaster Blade, because we want to be able to see them uh, pretty much every turn when we're on Alfred. So skill is when it's placed, come by Soul Blast, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the front row, and retire it, and when it's on the van circle, if you have four rear guards, it gets a crit. So that will probably happen since you have cards like Bedivere, K, and Akane and Pongol to help you fill your field really early. So the crit can come in handy. We aren't running Exculpate in this deck because the goal isn't to finish with Exculpate, it's to finish with Soul Saver. So you don't have to really worry about it being in your hand or your soul. You just call it. And if it dies, it dies. And then you write Soul Saver. You don't have to worry about it anymore. So four copies of Blaster Blade. Next is four copies of... Oops, dropping cards. Knight of Loyalty, Bedivere. 
So better your skills when it's placed from hand, you can call K, and if you call K, you get to draw a card, and then when it's boosted by K, uh, it gets 3K, so, you know, K has the same skills. When they boost each other, it's plus 6 to the column. So those are really good because it's your call target for Bedivir. And then three copies of Akane. I'm only running three copies because um, if you run out of target, if you run out of Pongles, uh, Akane really doesn't do anything after that. Akane is really just there to give you to find you boosters and to deck thin. And Pongol is like the main focus of of your soul charging engine as well, other than Palamedes. So even if you can't use um, even if you can't find Pongol through Akane, you can at least draw into it, or, you know, if you lose a Pongol because you have to write it, you only have three left anyway, so it works out fine. So three Akane is fine. The column, she, uh, when she's boosted by a high beast, she gets 3k as well. So the column only swings for 21 when you, uh, if you're on a rearguard circle, so that doesn't really hit any Excel or force numbers to begin with. So still kind of wonky, but still really good ride target as well. And finding pongles for soul charges so that's it for grade twos you know pretty like haha <laughs> get it pretty standard because it's a standard deck four copies of night square island it's you're not really counter blasting a lot the only cards that counter blast are k akane king of knights alfred so if you have the option to and you don't haven't used the counter blast you can use this to draw cards uh make your columns bigger by putting it behind like Palamedes or a rear guard grade 3 to make the column 24. Um, I really don't know what other, you could run, um, I forget the name of the card, but it's the one where if you write a unit, you move it to the soul, draw a card, then call something. The only reason I don't like that card is because of the timing, you have to have it placed already. And since we live in a format where Kagura is one of the best decks, it's going to die anyway. So I'd rather have cards that I can use right when I play it than having to wait a whole turn. So that's why I chose to do Allen, and I feel like Allen is better than Marin because your rearguard columns are either going to be Ks or Pongles, and I'd rather not like kind of go, oh no, like my Marin column's not going to work. You know, Marin and Allen kind of do the same thing anyway, so I'd rather stick with Allen. So Allen's a good boy. Next up for grade ones, four copies of K. K searches Bedivere and gives you your 24K column. So when you have the column like this, you know, and you got your Force 2 marker underneath it, you're hitting pretty big numbers. You know, 24 tick, can't talk, 24k with 2 crit is pretty good because your opponent will probably want to guard that. So you don't have to really, really, really worry about Force numbers getting up there. Just use the numbers that are already provided by the units. Pretty simple. K is still good and Bedivere is still good. Plus deck thinning is good. You know, see more triggers for those Soul Saver turns. The four Pongles, because we need soul for soul saver. So when it's placed, if you have another unit in the same column, you soul charge. If you soul charge a trigger, it gets 5k, so makes your numbers bigger. And it's a call target for Akane. It's a pretty simple um, lineup, you know, four of it, pretty much everything except for like Akane. Next up for triggers, uh, also super simple. It's just the four draw PGs. PGs are good. I don't want to run more PGs, I mean, not PGs, I don't want to run more draw triggers because, um, you know, we're, we're looking for crits because we're trying to win the game with crits and we already have a lot of deck thinning and if we're going to see triggers, I want to see um, the crits more. We also don't have like much discard, mis like much discarding needed in the deck. If needed, I feel like, if I feel like the deck needs more hand power, I might do... Uh, like seven crit, five draw, but for now it's just a eight crit, four draw. So for the uh, flash shield PGs, four flow goals, four apana, so eight crits. You know, crits win games, and we're also on force two, so more crits the merrier. And last but not least, heal triggers, because healing is cool, and you want to be able to win games and miracle heal out of stuff. Yeah, that was pretty much it. So show off them. Then markers, we got the four Force 2 gifts. So when you acquire it, the unit on it gets a crit. You can't stack them. So I feel like I don't really need more than four. I only have like the fourth copy in case I need to ride a great, another grade three for the fourth time. Because apparently if, uh, if you ride, you have to acquire a gift. So, but 
you know, not too worried about that. And then the rest are just your your regular force markers, you know, just in case uh, there are matchups where I'm like, hmm, maybe uh, force two isn't the right play here because maybe I need more power than crits, like against like a really defensive uh, OTT uh, deck with protect one. But for the most part, this deck is supposed to be super, super, super aggro. The goal is to acquire, to ride Alfred, get the Force 2 started on Van, then ride into Soul Saver, get another Force 2 going here, uh, get a Palamedes going, maybe get a Bedivere Column here going, get the Soul Blast 5, give this power, drive check some crits, give the crit here, so you got this swing with the crit, this swing with the crit, this swing if you get a crit trigger with an additional crit with more power because of its own skill. So it's all about crit pressure basically the entire game. And if that doesn't work out, you know, you still have a soul charge here. You have the soul charge from Pongo. You call another Palamedes. You're getting more soul charges that way. You ride another soul saver to get more soul. So you can theoretically do the skill twice. But the goal is to kind of win the turn you do it. And if your opponent's at 3 damage and they no guard your vanguard, that's swinging for like 50... 51k, you know, and you get a crit, that's 3 damage, and you can win that easily. So, the deck's kind of cheesy, but, uh, I feel like it's a little more consistent. I guess it's debatable. I was gonna say it's a little more consistent than the Alfred build. The Alfred build is definitely got more power and more, like, resource management going, since it's focused around Monarch Alfred and Blaster Blade, but, um, it is a little counterblast heavy, and I don't know if it really works well with Force 2. Maybe it does, but, you know, you guys see, I really like the Soul Saver deck just because I think it's really funny that you hit those really, really big numbers and it has a bunch of crits on it. I also think King and Knight's Alfred works really well with uh, Force 2. So, yeah, that's my Soul Saver deck. Um, I'm not going to make an Alfred deck for you guys because it's going to be the exact same uh, list, just with different, just with Force 2. So no point in making a, another deck profile for the exact same list. Um, other than that, let me know what you guys think of the Soul Saver deck. Uh, if you enjoy it, let me know. It's not really a budget deck, but, you know, it's a fun deck. You guys should, you guys should try it. Alright, that's it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all in the next video.